fix the country and save the country. I would even add that we need to save the country from efforts at state capture, wanting to take control of every state institution, and wanting to direct affairs that pleases uh, some other personal interests and not just the uh, public interest or our national good. I think that rightly, if I were President Nana Dudankwa, I would declare a Ghana beyond COVID and not Ghana beyond aid. Why? One, he has three and a half years journey. That journey cannot attain a Ghana beyond aid. When he himself runs to the European Investment Bank to borrow a 170 uh, million euro to set, set up a development bank, for what? What has happened to ADB? What has happened to NIB? Can't you recapitalize them? Can't you refocus their mandate and vision to deliver? They have people in employment. NIB is near collapse, ADB near collapse. You could even borrow money to save seven banks that have collapsed, 23 uh, 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 savings and loans institutions, over 220 microfinance entities. Why didn't government borrow to save those jobs and save those savings and spend a whooping 23 billion and turn around to borrow? Don't forget, the banks engaged President Nanadu Danko, which was captured by the Daily Graphic. I'll share with you. At that time, some of them needed between 400 to 500 million for purposes of recapitalization. They simply were turned away and denied. So Nana Dudankwa is supervising an economy or a country that, uh, pardon my word, is at the precipice of a multiple crisis. Is it? An economic crisis, a COVID crisis, and an energy doomsaw crisis. But, but the International Donor Committee disagrees with you with the Development donor? Bank. Which donor? They have, found, they have founded a vehicle worthy enough to invest which, it. Which donor? And, and give, and give, he went, he foreign, went to travel foreign to Europe. Foreign direct investment in Ghana have always increased in the last decade. Don't forget, I've been Minister for Trade and Industry. We've all traveled the world to make Ghana attractive and investment-friendly destination. FDI have always increased every other year. You can check the record. Last 10 years, even when he was not president of the republic.